The largest financial scam in human history. The Pentagon is at it again. No, I'm not referring to the $12,000 condom dispensers they installed in every F-35 fighter jet. The Pentagon failed their sixth audit this December, and much like Anthony Blinken with a psychopath test, they've never successfully passed one. Meaning, the Pentagon has never proven where the hundreds of billions of dollars every year is going. Dude, the IRS came after me just for declaring my goldfish as a dependent, and my son is a goldfish. So it's time to reveal the truth about where the military death and destruction industrial complex spends their cash and their condoms. The largest military in the world has never been successfully audited or held accountable, like the writers of the Catwoman movie or the Cats movie. Were they cats? Were the writers cats? When they announced their latest failure a month ago, the Pentagon also quietly announced they can't account for 63% of the $4 trillion of assets. 63%! They don't know where two-thirds of their crap is! One time I couldn't find 20% of the weed I owed this guy and he didn't let me off the hook. He peed on my welcome mat. See what happens, Lebowski? You see what happens? Which totally undermines the welcoming potential. But the Pentagon can lose two-thirds of their tanks and guns and jet parts and we as a country are just cool with it? We should be angrier than the real housewives when they find out aging and death are inevitable. The Biden administration has requested $842 billion for the Defense Department this year. When you tack on black budgets, covert appropriations, the intelligence services like the CIA, and the money the Joint Chiefs spend on fake identities for their illegitimate children, we're talking over $1 trillion a year. A trillion dollars a year! It's tough to even process what that means, what it, what it looks like. It is bigger than Ricky Gervais' ego. One trillion one dollar bills would stretch nearly from the earth to the sun, literally. A jet flying at the speed of sound, rolling out a steady stream of one dollar bills would reach one trillion dollars after flying for 14 years which is about the time George R.R. R. Martin will put out the next Game of Thrones book. And when I say the Pentagon can't account for most of their assets, I mean exactly that. There's been instances of them just finding hundreds of buildings that they didn't know they had. Or that time they found dozens of missing Black Hawk helicopters, and they still haven't found their missing moral compass. But they're pretty sure they left it in a cup holder at a peep show off Highway 80 in Elkhorn City, Kentucky. So if you see it, send it back. Sometimes the Pentagon knows they have stuff, but they just don't need it. Like the nearly 1,000 Abrams tanks that are just sitting deserted in the California desert. So now I heard the DOD is considering dropping Abrams tanks on Russian forces in Ukraine to save money on bombs. Call it recycling. Here's another part of the issue. The Pentagon doesn't know what or how much government property contractors have because it doesn't have access to contractor records. Lockheed Martin won't tell them what they own. Man, if I bought a car from a guy and he said, I still have a lot of the parts you need for the car, but I'm not gonna tell you which ones or where they are. I would totally stop buying cars from that guy. But not the Pentagon. They have the blood-soaked execs at Lockheed Martin on speed dial. Is speed dial still a thing? Is dialing still a thing? I have a rotary cell phone that I got at 7-Eleven. Is that not top of the line? Sometimes the Pentagon also can't account for just money. They misplace money. Like they're Cat Williams or some shit. For example, that time they made $21 trillion of unaccountable financial adjustments to their books. $21 trillion! And the corporate media just ignored it like it was systemic racism or something. But of course, that's just conceptual money. It's in our heads. It's not real, tangible money. I mean, all money's in our heads. It only has the power or meaning that we give it, which means humans are kind of killing ourselves and our planet with our imagination. But actually, sometimes the Pentagon loses not conceptual, but printed dollar bills, like the time they sent $12 billion in cash to Iraq and never saw it again. Shrink-wrapped pallets of billions of dollars of bills. Could I have just like, like one, one brick, just one of those turkey dinner packets of money? I won't, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Other times they technically know where the money is going, but not 
Really? Matthew Ho, former U.S. Marine Corps captain and State Department official, said of his time in Iraq doling out money for the military, the most I ever had at one time was $24 million on hand in safes in my bedroom, and there was hardly any oversight whatsoever. They just gave officers millions of dollars to hand out to cooperating warlords. I wonder why that war didn't go so well. The plan seemed more solid than casting the whitest woman to ever live as an ancient Asian mystical leader in Doctor Strange. Then there's the portion of their trillion-a-year budget which gets allotted to hush-hush programs of death and destruction, such as the military's secret undercover army of 60,000 soldiers with fake identities and off-the-books actions like trying to hold up Joe Biden's garbage bag filled with oatmeal body during campaign speeches. This secret army gets nearly zero coverage in your mainstream media. But that's not fair. They have their hands full with more important stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is that? I, I mean, I, I, I do recognize that. You know, Fox News won a Pulitzer for that. But as I mentioned, some of the Pentagon's waste is actually well documented. For example, the $52,000 trash cans they bought. And they bought four of them! Buy one $52,000 trash can, shame on trash can. Buy four $52,000 trash cans, what the f***? So as two-thirds of Americans are living paycheck to measly paycheck, and two-thirds of Americans can't afford a home even with land pipes and asbestos, 45% of Americans have no access to our why-does-this-seat-sticky public transit. 46,000 of the nation's bridges are cracking, and 127 million of the nation's asses are sagging. Keep in mind that our giant pentagram death machine has trillions of dollars to throw around like squirrels at a Romanian circus. But don't take a creepy Jesus-looking comedian's word for it, let's ask the guy who ran it. In 2011, as he was completing his time as Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates said about trying to figure out the Pentagon's books, my staff and I learned that it was nearly impossible to get accurate information and answers to questions such as, how much money did you spend? And how many people do you have? The guy in charge has no idea what's actually happening. Where have I heard that before? Hmm? Yeah. The truth is the Pentagon is not just the largest slaughtering machine in the world. It's also the largest money laundering scheme in human history, bigger than Theranos or Ja Rule. Trillions of taxpayer dollars are taken, rinsed clean, stamped to national security with a smiley emoji, and then handed back to weapons contractors, lobbyists, and the richest people in the world. It's all a giant scam. I don't know about you, but I feel safer already. This has been episode three of America Inc. Check out my live streams four days a week at LeeCamp.com and join the free email list there. Also, please support the show at Patreon.com slash Breakthrough News. Keep fighting.